Hey, good evening, Award Travel 101. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for a special edition of Award Travel 101 Live with a little bit of bourbon Q&A mixed in. My name is Richard Kerr, and I'm your founder, and I'm coming to you for today from the Hotel DuPont in Wilmington, Delaware, somewhere I never thought I would be. Um, I'm going to get that logo off my face. And actually, uh, I was telling our special guest sitting right here to me that you're going to see in just a second. Uh, I've been to uh, 48 states. Now, I've always counted Delaware because I drove through Delaware and I took the train, uh, the Amtrak through Delaware. But tonight is the very first time I'm spending the night in Delaware and hanging out. We just had dinner and excited to get number 48 on the list uh, just uh, officially tonight. So the first thing I like to do is introduce the bourbon that uh, my special guest and I are going to be drinking. That is Bullet Bourbon, courtesy of the Hotel DuPont. If you're curious what uh, chain Hotel DuPont is in, well, it's not. If you're curious what points I used to stay here tonight, well, I didn't. We've had to pay cash for this place, but uh, very impressed with the suite um, and uh, the dinner that we just had. So if you're ever in Wilmington, Delaware, please check out the Hotel DuPont. Put in the comments uh, where you would, uh, where you're tuning in from tonight. We'd love to see the reach. And more importantly, listen to me. If you want to enter our contest, you need to send an email to at101nfl at gmail.com. My moderator, Rachel Berkey, is working hard in the background as always. She's going to put that email address up. All you have to do is send an email, write me a joke, send something funny, put your name. I don't care, but uh, it needs to be time stamped during this live broadcast. And trust me, you want to win some of the things that we're giving away. Like uh, $50 NFL shop gift cards, like prize packs for your favorite NFL team, maybe a signed autographed picture of a uh, NFL player, and um, our grand prize, two tickets to a very special event I'm going to announce here uh, at the uh, end of our broadcast, at101nfl at gmail.com. Send an email, that's how you're going to enter. Let me get right down to it. I'm very excited. I've come all the way up here to talk about the NFL extra points card, about Barclays, about the credit card climate in general. And that starts with my special guest I'm going to bring on camera here right now. And that, sitting to my right, is Mr. Mike Bulmer, Senior Director of Travel, Entertainment, and Affinity for Barclays. Mike, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Super excited to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me on, Richard. Hey, it's not very often that you get to sit down, talk one-on-one -on -one with a credit card executive. I love the folks at Barclays. They do things a little bit different than the rest of the banks. Nobody else would agree to go live with a credit card <laughs> blogger, with a writer. So, Mike, I appreciate you sitting here talking to our entire audience and um, really giving us the scoop on some things that I'm excited about. So, first of all, I'll start off, tell the folks a little bit about yourself and your background and how you got to Barclays today. Absolutely. So, well, I'll take I, a sip of my bourbon. Yes, absolutely. So, I've uh, been in the credit card industry for 18 years. Uh, I actually started at MBNA America, which, which then later became Bank of America. I was there for about six years. My last role there was in database marketing. Uh, I then decided to make the jump over to, to Barclays uh, into, into the partnership world. Uh, that was and that was really my first uh, experience in in co-brand partnerships uh, was at Barclays. I have been at Barclays for 12 years. I've managed partnerships from petroleums to cruise lines to hotels, uh, and most recently, I'm in the the travel and affinity um, space right now. Pretty much have the coolest job uh, in credit card, being a huge football fan, and, and one of the partnerships that uh, I'm responsible for is the NFL Extra Points Credit Card Program. So we're going to talk about the NFL tonight and ask you at dinner um, what it's like working with the NFL. Uh, give us a little bit of insight. The NFL seems like one of these uh, organizations out there that it's impossible for the layman to touch. Mm -hmm. So when you talk to these folks, when you work with them, uh, what are those interactions like? Are people just as excited as you are? Do they recognize the kind of cool job that they have? Yeah, so I think, you know, the, the folks at the NFL are really great to work with. They are uh, super, super uh, collaborative uh, with with everything that they do with us. They're a great partner of ours. They're super supportive of, of the credit card program. You know, a lot of the the things that we have available in the in the extra points uh, credit card program obviously are, are sourced from the NFL, and they're always asking about how our redemption's going with the program, how is the program going, how are customers perceiving uh, the program. So uh, they're a really great group of, of folks to work with. I know sometimes we feel like the NFL, they're, 
a bunch of folks sitting in their ivory yeah. tower in New York, but they're just regular folks like you and me uh, trying to get to do That's a great job. That's how I feel about you. <laughs> when you go to the Barclay, you know, I think it's still BarclayCardUS.com, it's very hard for us sometimes as consumers to imagine the people behind these banks making these decisions, which is why I love having you on tonight to show folks he's just a normal football uh, player actually does analytics for the high school team. He's just as nerdy as you think a, a bank exec would be. <laughs> yes, I am. That's fine. A quick reminder, everybody, we're giving away a few prizes. Please send an email to at101nfl at gmail.com if you want to enter and win some of these things. Mike is talking about being sourced from the NFL. And you can ask us questions. i got Rachel Berkey working in the background. If you want to ask Mike, you got a bank exec making these decisions right here at your disposal. We yep. all have questions for him. I do all the time. Yep. Write down your question in the comment. Rachel's going to send it to me here on my live document. We're going to ask Happy Mike to answer. A little Happy bit to later. answer. Bring them on. So, Mike, you, you have a, maybe a one-of-a-kind title in your position that uh, is probably on your business card. Senior Director of Travel, Entertainment, and Affinity. That sounds really cool, but what does yeah. that mean you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, so on, on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I'm pretty much responsible for the overall um, partnership health of each of the programs that I manage. I manage travel, entertainment, and affinity. So I have a few different programs that happen to be under uh, my responsibility and they truly span that, that game. And I have cruise lines, I have an online travel agency, obviously I have the NFL program and then I also have the, the You Promise um, MasterCard program as well. So, um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, we're constantly trying to figure out you know, better ways to deliver more value to customers. How do we get uh, the card in more people's hands? How do we get more value into the reward program so that folks are, one, interested in applying for those cards? And then how do we get, once somebody applies for the card and is approved, how do we get those folks to engage? So what are we offering on the card to really make it one that you want to go out, utilize the card, get the points, and then see value when you redeem those points. So you have Carnival Cruise Lines, You Promise, NFL. Anybody else? Carnival Cruise Lines, NFL, You Promise, Priceline.com. And then underneath the Carnival umbrella, we also have Princess Cruises and Holland America Line as well. So you have NFL tickets on demand, free cruises on demand. You got a 529 <laughs> savings for your kit. It's a pretty good job to have there. So I hope that uh, enlightens everybody a little bit to what his day-to-day -day yeah. job is. I don't get any of that stuff free from a regulatory <laughs> perspective. We want to be allowed to accept gifts of those nature. Okay, asterisk. <laughs> Put the asterisk in there. Hey, uh, we're here to talk specifically about uh, the NFL and the NFL Extra Points card. So yes, something that uh, I've done over my career in uh, analyzing loyalty programs, really just being a big nerd about this stuff, is I look for places where there's outsized value. And that's what my followers here watching tonight, who are going to watch the replay, who read my articles, they want outsized value. 1% cash back is cool, 2% cash back is better, but we want something that's not attainable. And that's what got me interested in this card. Okay. You can use some pretty cool things with the NFL Extra Points card. The Super Bowl is in Atlanta, my hometown, which is really how this synergy came about. Super Bowl fever has already taken over the southeast. Every like time hear. you go up the Atlanta airport escalator for arrivals, there's a huge countdown ticker that says nice. 60 days to the Super Bowl. Yep. So um, for the people who don't know about this card and why I'm excited about it, give us a quick rundown of uh, what the card is, how you earn points, and why is it that I'm excited about this card. Absolutely. So real quick, easy earn rate on this product. So you get two times points uh, on pretty much anything NFL related. So when you're at your uh, stadium of your favorite team or or even you know an away game that you may go to, you get 2x points. You get 2x points at, at NFL Shop as well whenever you're buying merchandise, uh, try and support your, your favorite team as well. Then you get one point on everything else. So just the two, two times earned on NFL related purchases, one point on everything else, tickets in, in, uh, as well um, on the 2x points. You do have uh, zero percent uh, for six months uh, or to finance any season tickets uh, that that you purchase. So nice little I perk. Forgot about that. Yeah, so it's a nice little perk Good. for those um, folks that are season ticket holders. Um, you would so you can actually get the zero percent for six months on the tickets. You also will get the double points on that as well. Good. So kind of get the double dip on the benefit there for for our season ticket holders, and then. Really, the, the piece, to, to, to your point, Richard, look, you can get cash back on a million cards that are out there. Yeah. Um, 
But really what differentiates our product uh, versus the other market is really the access that we're going to be able to give our card members. Uh, so, for instance, you bring up Super Bowl in Atlanta. You know, we have Super Bowl tickets that are available for redemption um, every year um, through our relationship with the NFL. Okay. And, you know, it's, it's not like there's one pair of tickets that are there and available. We are, our goal is to try to send um, 50 card members plus a guest. So there'll be 50 redemptions that we try to attain as our goal to then, and those are 50, 50 pairs. So 100 folks will go to the Super Bowl as a result of the NFL Extra Points credit card. So a couple of things. Number yep. one. Send an email, at101nfl at gmail.com, to win some of the giveaways. Uh, that's what you need to do. Send your questions in the comments. And a couple of things that you just spoke about that yep. uh, I want to cut through the hidden language of some other banks. When they have put aspirational motivation and redemptions out there like the Super Bowl, there's usually an asterisk next to it. You're saying pretty much all the time we're going to have 50 packages available for 100 tickets. There's not going to be one person that gets a lottery that gets it away. If you spend the money on this card... You can't guarantee it, but there's a solid chance that you're going to be able to redeem points for the Super Bowl. There's 50. There are 50 uh, pairs of tickets that are up available each year. And how much do you have to spend on this card in a year in order to get the Super Bowl tickets? So the minimum amount uh, is 175,000 for a pair of Super Bowl tickets. So those would be upper kind of upper level Super Bowl tickets would be 175,000 points. Okay. Um, and you also offer packages like uh, you're going to include a hotel for additional points. Uh, what do those cost? So, again, uh, an upper level ticket would be 175,000 points. And then for an additional 150,000 points, uh, we also add a hotel uh, to that package as well. Okay. So, 325,000, if I'm doing my math correct. Yes, Aaron's sir. The 325,000. The math is correct. <laughs> uh, you get hotel room and two Super Bowl tickets. Correct. So by my math, if you have a small business that generates um, pretty normal amounts of credit card spend, you and a loved one can go to the Super Bowl, including hotel, for free every year. That is correct. And we actually have a handful of, of card members who really, this is, this is a, a part of what they do. They, they utilize the, the NFL Extra Points credit card, and they utilize it to uh, go to the Super Bowl every year. So one really good question here. Uh, I'm going to ask him from uh, Pressure from Oklahoma, who actually took me to the Oklahoma Army football game. Nice. Um, Super Bowl tickets are great. Are there any smaller redemptions uh, or experiences that you offer um, if you don't put $375,000 on the card? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, and, and the answer is yes. So Super Bowl obviously is the, big, the biggest event that we do. Obviously, it coincides with the NFL's biggest event. However, we have um, events throughout the year. So we have the NFL Combine, where you can redeem tickets for the Combine. Okay. Tickets for the NFL Draft. They go from five, ten, fifteen thousand to get tickets to the draft. Has become such a big, big event uh, going forward with the NFL. We also have individual game tickets that are available. So you can get a pair of of game tickets uh, for your favorite team or um, any team uh, in the NFL. Twenty five thousand points. Uh, you can get a pair of game tickets, and then for some clubs, not all of them. So uh, we also try to to get sideline passes uh, from teams, and we price those at 10,000 points. So for 25,000 points plus 10,000, 35,000 total, you could get a pair of tickets to the game and have a, a pregame sideline experience um, for 35,000 points. So very attainable um, numbers. If you're just joining us, this is Mike Bulmer, Senior Director of Travel, Entertainment, and Affinity for Barclays, talking about the NFL Extra Points card. Uh, something right up my alley that provides outsized value and access, typically not attainable by even if you do have the funds, which a lot of us don't, uh, you don't have access. I don't know who to go buy sideline passes from to an NFL game. And that's why this card got my uh, eye. Having the Super Bowl in Atlanta made me start paying attention to this stuff. I think that's um, some really um, interesting thing. And I'm not sure why folks aren't talking about this more, which is why... I pitched Mike uh, and Barclays the idea, hey, come on this live interview with me. Every other bank would say no, but Mike said, yeah, let's get the word out um, about this. Absolutely. Um, so um, I think uh, you guys have a big Super Bowl week plan for your NFL Extra Points card holders in Atlanta. So Sweet. if you have this credit card, if you redeem points for some of the experiences, it doesn't have to be Super Bowl tickets. You can do other That's things right. that week. So 
Uh, give us a rundown of some things that uh, you have going on in Atlanta during Super Bowl week. Yeah, so uh, it really starts with, with opening night. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, usually Monday uh, before the Super Bowl is kind of the, the start of the, the Super Bowl week, and it starts with opening night. And you can technically redeem points uh, to attend that opening night where you know the players are there, they're giving interviews. Um, you kind of be there in the crowd and kind of be there for that particular experience. And then... You know, other than the game, we have multiple uh, couple couple parties that that are very popular and interesting uh, to be able to go to. So we have the NFL PA VIP party. So that is the official party of the NFL Players Association. Um, they have a VIP party that uh, card members could redeem for. Um, Buzio also has a Super Bowl party as well, where where card members can can redeem uh, for those. And then we are also uh, working on potentially um, some press conferences that uh, card members can can redeem for. And then also we have two clinics that we are we're setting up uh, at Super Bowl where we're going to have, we can't officially announce kind of who the talent is going to be at these clinics. Um, but to give you a reference we did something similar last year in Minnesota and so we did a a 90 minute quarterback uh clinic with Kurt Warner Hall of Famer and then we also did a wide receiver clinic uh with Hall of Famer Chris Carter and and we're going to do something very similar where it's about 30 minutes of kind of a signing where you, you know you'll they'll, they'll mm-hmm. sign autograph take a picture um with with the card member We'll do a little bit of Q&A where folks can ask ask questions um, to, to the player. And then we'll actually stretch out a little bit, go out there and do a little bit of uh, clinic work. So with Kurt Warner out there, just teaching folks how to throw the ball. Obviously, Chris Carter uh, teaching folks uh, some inside techniques about how to catch the football. So we're going to do something similar again um, this year. We're really looking forward to it. It was a big hit with our car members, which is the reason why we made sure that we brought those back. What's the average uh, talent of your card holders out there? Probably some pretty bad uh, passers and catchers. <laughs> we try to make we try to make the clinics really easy. We don't need anybody pulling any hamstrings. Uh, so try to keep the yards that we're running very small. Uh, nice easy passes to catch. I got a couple rapid fire questions for you. Sure. Uh, Michael says anything outside of the NFL that you can redeem points for? Anything outside of the NFL you can redeem for just straight cash back. Yep, so you can just redeem for straight cash back, um, so there's always utility, but um, outside of the NFL, but still related to the NFL, um, because of the NFL support of um, breast cancer awareness, we added the um, cancer, American Cancer Society as a redemption, so you can use your points to redeem for a donation towards the American Cancer Society, as well as, obviously, we're, we're a big supporter also of Salute to Service and the NFL's campaign for Salute to Service. So we actually um, added uh, the Pat Tillman Foundation as a donation possibility for car members to redeem their points for, to then be able to donate donate that to the Pat Tillman Foundation, which coincides with an existing card member campaign that, that we've done the last two years, where in the month of November, 1% of all card members spend uh, up to twenty five thousand dollars, we will we, we will donate to the Pat Tillman Foundation in support of them. So, being a former Navy guy, I'm familiar with Pat Tillman. They go after uh, I think they call them military scholars. Yes, they sir. They send them to school for free. So, a yes, big sir. fan of that. So, if you want to donate to Pat Tillman, I think you guys even involved them in Super Bowl week a little bit. We have yes, um, we have, great yeah. foundation. They're a uh, huge fan of it. Uh, I can tell you, I met Mike's boss today, so I'm gonna tell a little story. <laughs> Um, I knew he was a Navy guy. I'd heard of him. Uh, Mr. Denny, I believe is his name. Yes, sir. And uh, it turns out Denny was also a Navy Supply Corps officer just like me. So uh, Barclays execs doing things the right way anytime you have a Navy <laughs> Supply Corps uh, officer there. Um, another quick uh, rapid-fire question for you. This is a good one. I don't know the answer to this. Um, Andrea says, can you um, um, – Pool points with a spouse if they have their own card or coworkers, and do points expire? So points do not expire. Okay. Um, as, however, as long as you hold the card, as long as you, yeah, as long as you're at you're, you're an active card member, they do they they, they do not expire. Um, the points cannot be pooled. So one account 
has, so you can add authorized users to your one account and all of the spend on your primary cardholder's account and the authorized user's account will can be considered one pool of points. But I couldn't have an account and then Richard have another account and him and I get together and pull those together and redeem. You'd need a lot more Super Bowl tickets if that was the case, yeah. I think, for that. <laughs> Um, good questions, everybody. Keep it going. And remember, if you want to enter our giveaway, which I'm going to announce the winners of later tonight in the group, just send an email to at101nfl at gmail.com. Um, Rachel Berkey, working hard there, should have that email address pinned up in the comments. And um, I'm going to move to a little bit more of a macro talk about credit cards for our last few okay. minutes here. So, um, you know, I love, as a consumer, how competitive the credit card industry has become over the last two years. Uh, the banks, which are located literally within a few blocks of me, yes, they are. so we have Team Chase over here, Team Barclays over there, Team City. Yes, I'm sir. in heaven, but I came down the interstate and saw <laughs> you know, all the, the banks' names up on there. You got um, them all right here. But I like it. Um, banks are competing for business. They're getting innovative. Yep. Um, and uh, it's, it's kind of a, you, you've got to be on your game or else customers aren't going to come to you. So folks are already asking me here in the questions and something that we try to talk about uh, a little bit earlier. Yeah, what kinds of things are you looking to do with, with your own brand and what kinds of things are Barclays looking to do in 2019 that's going to bring customers in the door in this competitive world? Yeah, so I think I speak. I could speak more to kind of my particular my particular um, co brand partnerships that that we have today. Uh, I think one thing is we constantly try to keep our ear to consumers. Uh, we have an internal customer insights group um, that kind of readily, you know, feeds us information about recent um, polls and surveys that have been done um, in the industry to just. Here where tendencies are going, what are folks, where's the market going? Obviously, and I think, you know, some of the the bigger tendencies that, that I've been hearing is, is really, obviously, you know, the shift to mobile has, has gotten considerably more aggressive yeah. um, in the last, you know, in the last couple of years. And be, be, being able to deliver a customer experience, the customer experience on a desktop onto the mobile phone should be seamless. And it's... It's not really innovative anymore. It's really what is expected um, is a big focus. And then I think the other piece is, I think you mentioned it before, you know, Richard, is what additional value can can we as banks provide through the value propositions of the credit card than just yeah, points true. and airline yeah. miles? And and luckily, you know, for us, you know, in this program from NFL Extra Points program specifically. You know, we can give you those type of experiences that money can't buy you. You know, the the average person that's out there, Jane and Joe, they can't get on the sideline. You know, of an Atlanta Falcons game. You know, without being, you know, not that anybody wants to be on a Falcons <laughs> sideline this year, but yeah, sure. I'm an Eagles fan, so we're 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 we're, we're struggling a little bit as well. So. But we had we, we we got our share last year, so yeah, 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 we're, yeah. we're running on it. We're 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 doing pretty well. Um, but I think that's really one of the things that we've been hearing as well is kind of a shift away from just the straight points, cash back, and more about experiential and what are you doing with your programs to provide experience and then additional benefits beyond just double points, triple points. Yep. I think that's true, um, and I know maybe not be ready to share tonight, but you're working hard on those kinds of experiences and added benefits with all the cards um, in your portfolio, and that's the kind of thing um, that you're not going to hear. Again, you're not going to hear other banks sit down and talk with me on a live interview. You're not going to hear other banks talking about um, these things out in the open. So I hope you appreciate the access that Mike and Barclays have agreed to give us tonight. Um, it's a really cool thing. A few more rapid-fire questions yeah. before I go to my next one. Is there an annual fee for the NFL Extra Points? There is no annual fee for the NFL Extra Points credit card. It's a pretty sweet deal. It's a great deal. You're not going to change that next year, are you? No, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Probably have a lot of angry Super Bowl ticket holders today. <laughs> um, how about a foreign transaction fee for the card? There are foreign transaction fees. Pretty um, standard for a domestic card like Standard this. for domestic card yeah. with no annual fee. Okay. Um, let me see if we got any other ones. Uh, is there a sign-up bonus for the NFL Extra Card? There is a sign-up bonus for the uh, NFL Extra Press. So you get 10,000 bonus points after you spend $500 uh, on the card in the first 90 days. So you get a sideline pass as a sign-up bonus? Yes, you do. Okay. All right. Yes, you do. Sideline pass, 10,000 will get you to the draft. 
uh, as well. Uh, so definitely a lot of a lot of good value with, with the 10,000 points up front. So we were talking at dinner. I was looking at Atlanta hotels during the Super Bowl. They were long sold out at this point, but when I was looking three or four months ago, $1,100 for a higher regency that's literally going for $78 this week with minimal business before. So um, can you share what hotel is included if you'd redeem points for the Super Bowl this year? Do you know which one it was? I'm just curious as an Atlanta guy. Yeah, it would be. Um, I don't know it off the top of my head, but it would be actually would be the hotel that – you know, we as Barclays would have access to, um, we reserve some extra rooms for car members to do just this redemption. Obviously, we'll be there in Atlanta um, for for business reasons, actually, and obviously a little bit of pleasure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we get to go to the game. You said you have the coolest job. Yeah, so it, it's, <laughs> it's a very cool job. Um, but it would be... Um, It'll be a hotel that, that, that Barclays would be staying at, so it's not some hotel that's 75 miles away from, from, the, Georgia, from the Georgia Dome. Yeah. So um, one more question. I'll get to my last one. Um, a lot of folks are curious about this redemption process. Um, so is there tons of competition for these Super Bowl tickets? If you save up your points all year and then you go after it, are you going to be disappointed? Do you send out an email a month ahead of time that says, hey, on this date you can redeem points? Just walk us through that redemption yeah. process a little so bit. So we do we do typically send uh, we have a newsletter that that okay. we'll put out there to just kind of get folks the the heads up that hey you know uh, Super Bowl tickets would be available on this particular date or this particular time. Um, we 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 haven't had a, a ton like I said I've been on the program to be my third season. We we haven't had a lot of uh, complaints about hey Super Bowl inventory is gone I can't I can't get access to it um, last year quite frankly we we were a little short of 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 our internal goal of getting 50 redemptions okay. uh, I believe we ended up with about 48 so um, what did you do with those extra tickets the extra tickets it was <laughs> luckily for us it was an Eagles game so we have access to it so we just end up selling them to to um, you know, folks um, internally that that wanted to go to the game. Obviously, we can't give them away, but uh, well, make sure you put me on that email list. For yeah, buying this. <laughs> but I'm thinking one thing. Obviously, being it, having the the Super Bowl in Minnesota, I think uh, the, a number of folks kind of told us, "Well, it's Minnesota. Um, it's a little, it's a little, you know, didn't want to necessarily make the trek um, up there." But I think with 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 the Super Bowl moving back to a, a warmer a warmer climate city like Atlanta. Um, certainly, I don't think there's going to be any any concerns with demand for for this year. I completely agree. Georgia is the greatest state in the union. Everybody <laughs> should come down to Atlanta for the Super Bowl. Uh, also, the Mercedes Benz Dome. I went to my first game. Uh, I went to the uh, college football Chick Fil A kickoff game between Washington and Auburn. Your NBA oh, Auburn War Eagle. I uh, watched the game in the Mercedes Benz Dome. That was my first trip. An amazing stadium. If you ever get the opportunity to go there, uh, Atlanta United just won the MLS Soccer Championship in the dome. 80,000 people averaged tens of thousands more for soccer games and uh, Falcons games this year because we decided to take the season off. But uh, an amazing experience. Um, looking forward to you guys uh, enjoying that stadium quite a bit. So my last question, we're going to get to readers, and then we got the, a few announcements. One yep. specific announcement to talk about tonight that I'm very excited about. So yep. um, doing things like this obviously helps you keep uh, your pulse on what your customers want. You talked a little bit ago about... Um, was it an internal group that feeds you um, data about card uh, consumer behavior? What I really want to know is, um, as someone in your position, how do you keep your pulse uh, on the community? I'm lucky enough to have 51,000 people um, talk yep. to me every day and, and gives me a good idea what's going on in the world. But how do you do that sitting in your chair? Yeah, so like I said, we have an internal customer insights group that kind of feeds us information um, you know, on pretty much a, a daily basis um, on mentions about your card that are out there, um, you know, in the media. Um, so every day I'm, I'm reading that, taking a look, seeing which, which one of my products are out there, who's writing about it. Like I said, if it comes up that if, you know, Richard Kerr is writing about the NFL extra points card, boom, it's right there for me. I can go read that article, make sure, you know, get his view and just be open about it, honest about it, and look, you know, we know that we're not perfect, and you know we're we're interested in that feedback. That where can we make the program better? Um, obviously, being an NFL fan, and, and my team is, is is a group of NFL fans, but doesn't necessarily mean that that we know everything. Um, so, I think having a, being humble, somewhat humble, uh, I think also helps uh, to know that there's always room for improvement. 
um, on that side. So I think that's one of the key ways that we kind of keep our finger on the pulse. And then, you know, I think we try to be proactive and, you know, particular products that we'll, we'll, we'll kick off a project kind of internally to kind of go out and do some of our own kind of research um, where we'll leverage focus groups uh, out there to get uh, their, their view on what do you think about the current product? Hey, let's throw some ideas about that. Hey, what if we added this to the product, this to the product, and then also get some open feedback and dialogue from them about what would you like on this product to make it more attractive to you, you know, and really pull both folks who are existing customers of ours, but then also folks who aren't to get an idea of, well, what would we have to do to this product to make you want to get it, engage in it. And you can always join the Award Travel One on One Facebook community, which I know some of your team is here in the group paying attention. Perfect. If you want feedback on that, yes, that's true. AT One On One. There's several members of the Barclays team that are reading the group every day, so I want you to know you do have influence. Your voice uh, is uh, being heard. So I'm going to get to announcement, and then we're going to talk um, who you and I would like to see in the Super Bowl. Okay. First of all. Uh, I again have to thank uh, Mike, his entire team, uh, Aaron, who's here in the room, Nicole Di Anderson for putting this together, and so much the fact that uh, well, I'm going to spill the beans about January 30th a little bit. So, of course. being a fan of this NFL extra points card, being a fan of the uh, NFL and the city of Atlanta, Barclays has generously decided to sponsor an award travel 101 community Super Bowl party. On Wednesday, January 30th in Atlanta, we're finalizing um, the location right now, but we think we know where it's going to be. And uh, we're going to invite uh, 60 to 75 of you to come hang out with us, come hang out with me. I'm going to talk points and miles. Mike and his team is going to be there to talk Absolutely. about Barclays, answer more questions, Absolutely. drinks, food. And word has it, we're going to have some NFL talent come to hang out with Award Travel 101 in Atlanta, January 30th, 6 to 9 o'clock. Two of you are getting tickets to get in the door right now tonight if you send an email to at101nfl at gmail.com. The rest of it, we're going to have giveaways over the next uh, week to get the rest of the tickets out there because right. word has kind of gotten out about this already, and it's already a hot ticket for Super Bowl week in Atlanta. So if your calendar's free, January 30th, 6 to 9, hang out with me, Mike Barclays, NFL talent, meaning a player. Yep. And uh, we're going to have a good time drinking beer, talking points and miles for a week. So I appreciate that. I am very excited about this date. Uh, send in your email, at101nfl at gmail.com to get tickets. And, uh, man, we're going to have a daggum lot It'll of fun. It'll be good fun. It'll be a lot of fun. On January 30th, hanging out with Barclays, an NFL player. And uh, I'm going to be there talking points and miles and drinking beer. All right, Mike. Who do you want to see in the Super Bowl? Do I want to see or who do I think is going to be there? Well, the Eagles aren't going again. We are still we still got life. We the, still have life, Richard. The Eagles aren't going again. So. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? Who do I think? I think uh, in the NFC, I, I think the New Orleans Saints are going to be the NFC representative. I can't stand that as an NFC South rival. Ah. Yes. But I think it's going to be hard to beat the Saints in that in that dome. They are a different team in that dome. So if, if, yeah. if the playoffs go through New Orleans, I don't know that anybody's going to be able to beat the Saints in that dome. Who you got from uh, the AFC? From the AFC is a little more, a little more wide open. Obviously, the Patriots are, are usually a very favorable pick. Tom Brady, it's always hard to, uh, I feel like, bet against Tom Brady, but the team doesn't look like they have it much together uh, right now. They're reeling a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go a little bit dark horse and go San Diego Chargers. Ooh, Phillip Rivers is going to get his Phillip shot. Rivers. I th- I'm rooting for mm. Phillip Rivers to get his shot uh, at the yeah. Super Bowl. I don't... I... I don't know, man. So uh, I unfortunately have to agree with you. Um, the Saints are going to make it. I love Drew Brees. I like the Aints. But uh, <laughs> being an NFC South guy, I just don't like to see that. Um, you know, in the AFC, from what I've seen the Patriots the last two weeks, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, not looking good. Um, I'm going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs. I like that rookie quarterback, Patrick yeah. Mahomes. And I think Andy Reid's a pretty smart coach. He's a very good coach. Um, He's a very good coach. The, Ram, the Rams, you know, I, I would like to see take out the Saints. they got a mean defense, and that coach that's my age at 32 coaching in the NFL. Unbelievable. Doing Unbelievable. great things. So, but I'm going to go with the Saints, uh, Chiefs, and the Super Bowl for that. All right. Let's we'll see if we've got any more last-minute questions. Uh, here's a good one. Carlos says, do you get to pick your team logo for the card? Yes. You get to pick your favorite NFL team. So we have all... 
all 32 teams, and for whatever reason, if you would like just an NFL Shield card, you can get that. So everybody get an NFL uh, Atlanta Falcons credit card. That's what you should do. <laughs> hey, good comments. Keith says, thank you both for taking the time. Tammy says, Mike, thanks for getting this info and taking the time to do the interview. They appreciate it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate hey, it. January 30th, come hang out. Me and Mike in Atlanta. We're going to give tickets away to this awesome meetup. Barclays does things right. I promise you they're not going to disappoint. We're going to have a great time. We're going to meet an NFL player. Mike, thanks so much for taking the time to do this, man. It's Thank you. Pleasure. It was great. Thank you all for your time. As always, you can watch the replay of this interview anytime you want on demand at our War Travel 101 YouTube channel. Please go there and subscribe, youtube.com slash C for channel slash Award Travel 101. And we're going to catch you next time. Goodbye from the Hotel DuPont in Wilmington, Delaware.